past president of the Films Health Club and is the actual librarian of the Films Health Club, a junior president of the Scottish Southern Counties Burns Association, he was a sports master to the Scottish cycling team and physio to the Queen of the South during Psycho's reign as manager. <laughs> he is the second fastest man in the world on a bike for his age. <laughs> 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 He's a retired businessman and property magnate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gordon Johnson. I very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, the poem I'm going to do is known as the Court of Equity. So I'd like to give you a lot of introduction to the poem before the break. When he's about 26, Robert, already regarded by some of his fellow residents of Morphin with some disapproval because of his ways. He made things worse by further inform informing, with all three of us, they made friends, a club of fornicators. Small elite body, the Rebel Four, comprised of himself as president, with the presiding judge, Smith as the fiscal, Richmond as the clerk, and Hunter as the messenger at arms. The idea behind the club was that an essential bond was that each of the young men was to be a proven fornicator within the village. Bond already had a bastard way and love child to Betsy Payton, and Jean Armour had already advised him that he, she was now with twins to Bond. Richmond had in fact fulfilled his act of parents in the kirk by having seduced a young lady in the village. And as far as Smith was concerned, he was Bundy's favourite in the group because he distinguished himself by impregnating a woman, his mother's, sorry, his mother's servant, a woman more than twice his age. Therefore, he becoming something of a hero. <laughs> Hunter, the last member of the group, had also been guilty of seducing a young lady and he was a butcher to trade. Hence the fact that in the poem, he is real skilled in deep in leave and letter. Court of Equity or Fornicator's Court was written to commemorate the, the mock trial commit, uh, of, and sentence of two fornicators, namely one Sandy Dow, a coachman, and Clocky Brun, a clockmaker. Bond believed that if you got a young lady into trouble, he'd stand by her. These two decided against it. Dow was charged with having relations with Maggie Borland, but being a mason and a brother dear, he would have given a slight slap in the wrist. Whereas Brun was to be rather severely dealt with. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the lead up to the point. In truth, in honour's name, Amen. No all men by these friends played. The 4th of June in Markland gained the year. 25 and 7. We, fornicated by profession, as per extract and free session, have by our brethren constituted a court of equity deputed. With special authorised direction to tap within our strict protection, the stylish bursted quantum maiden with grown life and anguish laden, who by the scoundrel is denied. He who disowns the ruined fair one. And for her wants and woes does care none. The wretch who can refuse assistance to those whom he has given existence. The truth upon the disc of labor when lassies halfling offer favor. In short, all who in any manner shall stain the fornicate of honor and talk of nice in honor, we are the judges' concept. First boy burns, he talks a chair. Allude be all his titles clear, he has a duplicate pretension to pass without dissension. <laughs> Next Merchant Smith, poor worthy fiscal, to cow each pernicious rascal, and this is every other state, his merit is conspicuous great. Richmond the third, poor worthy clerk, for merit he shall join him on, and sit dispenser of the law in absence for the former talk. The fourth, Poor messenger of Ailes, 
We'll fail them all the way to the town. <coughs> Hunter, a hefty villain, brother, real skilled in deed and leave and leather. Without preamble, less of me said, we body call a thicker for sin. For sake of them for whom and wherefore, we are appointed here to care for. Shall punish contravening throughout at the insistence of our constituents. And not a crop of regulation. <laughs> I missed this thing. <laughs> but I do fiscal by petition inform us to a strong suspicion that goes with up with Blocky Room, so to be invited in the school. In other words, you, Joke, and Sunday, may be in the work of Hog McGandy, and do the facts are not to let the facts you make deny your lip. First Blocky Room, that witness born when I could even be in the swamp, that he here ought to have the gully. And Jeannie Mitchell stood with her, aye, and blustered at a regulator, for our wheel good glitter platter, aye, and further still your tool vandal, a tale that even in hell be scandal, that ye he made repeated trials with rogues and draught and doctor files, next as you thought, with fair infusion, your age had got in way and confusion, and yet you are so scant a grace and dark and with your freezing face, and offer here to talk your age, you never left it in his place. Oh, by heaven and hell, you swear, Lair Bolson's slates can witness bear, and even though I'm walking fair, that Jenny's marsh you laid them bear, for he had furled up for sales, and with a plate, he's in deals. <laughs> <laughs> Next coachman, do you are indicted, and publicly you have been waited, for half time deathly at Worland, the petty coach of Waggy Borland, and gain her courage to suck a rifle that's from once the rest of them in a And yet he offered you for a death, you never had his mummy's nest. So it's real kind of a guy when you give me a kitchen title. So brown and double buff design for clouds and play and shoot you some coin. The good to close the excitement and summon, on the 4th of July is coming, the Ura Cod, the Ura Cod Hall, that wait for Aaron. You answer all. Yet, ours will luckily be punished, and rather mildly would admonish, since better punishment prevented than often they say have repented. And for that ancient secret sake, you have the honour to partake. And for that noble badge you wear, you sign the dow, my brother dear, who gives you as a man a mason, the serious sober swing lesson. Your time, a man that did me throw it for men and men alone could do it, and then denial perseverance to a scoundrel name of him. Your time, a man that did me throw it. <laughs> the best of men can be advised. The best of women, he been the prize. The boy, the cleverest lads, he can't suck it. The boy, the lassie, he can't lick it. The brother dares be not ashamed and suck a quorum to be named. You see yourself, there's God divine, all oh, that threat he has been trying. And suck as he fits in the hand, but man, his character needs time. So, brother dear, lift up your bow and let your cell the truth be known. Now let the dog was face upon it. I am the man that done it. I, Sandy Dove, got made the rain. I am fit to these much again. <laughs> Never mind their four life and faces. A three and proper times and places have seen them fun I mortal greedy. They have done as you and we did. To tell the truth, a man the less, and doubly proper in the meeting. Once you're drum, as it is proven, Jeannie <clears throat> Mitchell weighing by you was woven. Without you by a quick repentance, I've not the and gained acquaintance. Depend on this. Shall be your sentence. Who are beagles? Say the cross shall tap you, and there shall mother make it mark you. Some canny gripper in your middle that shall find it tight in a fiddle. <coughs> the raper in the pump shall talk and tie your hand behind your back, but just the noodle is sitting allowed to jink to hide the feet of the crew. <laughs> there shall you stand a legal seizure, enduring Jimmy Mitchell's pleasure. There be your pleasure going to surpass five turnings. For half of a blessed, nor shall it ever please and be to turn your loaf in less than three. We need it, no to detect a secret. But in our summons, here inserted, and who should dare be controverted, does mark my bum to trades. At Mockland, the first day date in June, between six and seven in the afternoon. You two are within design, Sandy and Johnny, the summons legally have got it, within the house of John Bell Vickner, and witness her off, William Hunter. Thank <laughs> you.